Oh, hey, folks, how you doing? Um, hey, just Paul coming with you here. I'm happy to be with you today on an afternoon of Saturday. And uh, it's the 22nd of um, October. And what I want to do is I want to tell you about what's going on right now. Um, it's going to be really difficult for you to tolerate hearing what I'm saying. And a lot of you aren't going to like it. And you're going to be really upset. Why? Because they have most of you acting and behaving like morons. Like literal reading morons. So I want to explain to you about the latest propaganda that's coming out, which is true, by the way. Okay? This is propaganda, but it's true propaganda. And um, it is anything but pleasant. And I want to show you this. It's a real serious matter. And um, you're going to be hearing words like occupiers, brave Zelensky. Uh, you're going to be hearing things like that cruel whatever. You're going to be hearing all of these terms which really don't belong in the story. They just don't belong in there. But when you're trying to affect the mood of the readers and blind them with propaganda, this is what you do. Uh, I, um, I, I, I spoke to somebody kind of yesterday by chat, and not really by chat, but I, had, I left a comment for them on their hunting station. And um, it was a young guy, and I told him to have a look at my channel. He had a look at my channel and will not subscribe. Are you surprised? Well, those hunters are probably uh, all for Ukraine. His buddy's, uh, you know, in Ukraine. The buddy's in Ukraine. I mean, he went over there. First thing he did was he uh, volunteered for service in Ukraine. Right? So, it's virtually impossible to get people to be able to not think out of the box. Just think. They can't. They are overwhelmed with the propaganda and the propagandized reading of the news and of and the portrayal of the news which is mostly right so let's have a look at the 22nd of october and i think what they're doing is they are vastly underestimating um the level of severity that they're going through now in ukraine um uh, <clears throat> Because here's what I know, and I'm going to not use words like the invaders. Uh, like, I'm not going to be using those words. I'm just going to tell you what it is. It appears that um, the Putin gang, how's that? Is, that? is that acceptable to you people? The Putin gang? Well, the Putin gang has decided that it would be Jim Dandy to... Take these <coughs> drones, which are about half the size of a car, is what it looks like to me, and fly them into power stations all over Ukraine, including, by the way, Kiev. You know that place called Kiev, remember? Well, I will tell you something. You can see this up close as I show it to you. Uh, those bombs, those flying bombs for $20,000 a piece are staggeringly effective. They are staggeringly effective. Um, now, you can use all the um, irritating language or slanted this or journalism that. It's not going to make any difference, folks. They're now trying to say that one and a half million Ukrainians are without power as Mad Vlad, okay? That's what they're showing here, attacks energy network and civilians. Now, this is what I want you to understand. Let me tell you how bad this is. And a lot of you won't understand this. I tried to explain this to you last night or the day before, I can't remember. It's called demoralization. It's an important feature, uh, usually of war, 
but it can be other things too. Folks, I doubt there's 1.5 people without power. It's probably 5 million people without power right now because these simple $20,000 is not a lot of money, folks. I mean, I know it's a lot of money. That's because we don't have $20,000, uh, speaking for myself. But it's not a lot of money, folks, and especially when it comes to, to military spending. And these drones are absolutely devastating. The infrastructure, particularly the power plants, of Ukraine and I knew looking at this puzzle of this war I knew that once they uh, once you Ukraine bombed the bridge of Crimea once they did that anything was on the table are you surprised uh, they knocked down a major bridge and do you think there's not going to be repercussions from this? You're all supposed to just uh, cheer, get out in the streets. If you're for Ukraine, you're supposed to get out in the streets and start telling everybody that you're going to go buy a postage stamp. Are you people fucking crazy? Are you, are you crazy? You're supposed to go out and buy the postage stamp? They already had a postage uh, stamp planned for this. This is insanity. Do you think this is some kind of a, a dog and pony show that that Putin is putting on here? You're sadly mistaken if you do, because there is going to be a severe cost to what's going on right now and consequences. And you know what some of the consequences are going to be? They are going to be freezing because very soon. The temperature will drop. Now, I know you get good weather in, in the Ukraine at times, but not once November rolls in. Once November, you can ask the uh, dead soldiers of Russia, I'm sorry, of Germany when they went in in World War II. Once mid-November comes in, there's no more forgiving weather in the Ukraine. It turns, and it turns cold. Folks, what are they going to do without power? How are the hospitals going to run? And it's a stupid question. You're stupid, mindless fuck dopes that don't understand anything. Your minds are being controlled by Toot and the rest of the corrupt media. You know what's going to happen? I know this is going to come as a great shock to you fucking moronic idiots. My subscribers, of course, excluded. They already know this. You're not going to have hospitals. You're going to have hospitals that are going to have drones going into them. You're going to have hospitals that are going to have drones that are going to go in after the portable generators. You didn't know that, did you? Do you think Vladimir Putin cares if it's a hospital or anything else? Of course not. He's not trying to get the hospital. He's trying to get the generator. And what will happen when they knock out the generators? Death. And a lot of it. And a lot of sickness, too. And the complete cutting off of everything. Communication. Trains. Buses. Cars. Lack of fuel. This is what's on the menu, folks. And most of you are so stupid, my subs excluded, because you don't understand one thing from another. All you're doing is waiting for that postage stamp, huh? I gotta get that postage stamp. Blowing up the Crimea Bridge. What happens when you blow up the Crimea Bridge? Oh, that's right. You get put back into the 1800s. That's what the 19th century means. That's what Putin said. See, he's not gonna buy the stamp from the post office of the Ukraine that says blowing up of the wonderful blowing up of the Crimean bridge. You know what Putin's gonna do? He is going to demoralize the Ukrainians. By how? By starving them of power, thereby making them suffer as they have never suffered before, folks. And 
at this point, it may be better living under Vladimir Putin than it will be getting your hospital power knocked out. Then you get a generator and then you get a triangular drone that comes in and blows up the generator. And then when you fix your power station, um, the, the power uh, station is repaired, then um, they re-blow it up again. That's what you call demoralizing your enemy. And the civilians are going to pay the cost, and so are the army. So is, so is the army. Because they're going to have to be resupplied over there. This is exactly what Putin had to do if he is serious about going in on that war. I knew it. I knew this. I've been talking about it for two or three weeks. I knew about this. He has to take the gloves off if he's going to be serious about this in Ukraine. And he wants to not get his soldiers killed. Because they're not doing well, evidently. I don't know because I'm not there. But evidently, the Ukrainian soldiers are doing better now. Well, that's going to stop. It's going to stop because it's not going to be so easy to get any supplies anywhere. And those drones are so devastating, folks, that, I mean, I know a lot of you are stupid. You're just stupid people. But even you are going to be able to understand this when I show it to you. So... I'm not saying enjoy, there's nothing fun about this, but it is going to devastate and wreak havoc on the Ukrainians, and they are going to be living in the 1800s, excluding, of course, two, okay, who's going to be either roughing it out in the Hamptons in Long Island, New York, or his $38 million spread down there in Miami Beach. But don't worry, he'll fight to the last Ukrainian, okay? Even if he's freezing cold, he or she. <coughs> Here we go. There's a warning on this because it's bad. And they're trying to shoot these things with machine guns. That's how bad this is. They're, they're, they're going undetected. Hear it? And the level of destruction is shocking for such a small thing. Shocking. And you're looking from a ways away, but if you get close on up to that, you're talking about three, four months worth of damage to each one of these facilities. This is war, folks. This isn't reading your stupid uh, U.S. son or whatever the hell this story is and listening about the invaders. That's just reality. And I'm telling you right now, to the Ukrainians that can hear me, there's another one. Look at the damage that these things are doing. These things are devastating. They're wreaking havoc. And they evidently can't. I think they get this one. But I'm not sure. They might have gotten that one. I'm not sure. Maybe they got that one. They're going to shoot some of them down. They only move at 100 miles an hour. No matter. They're only 20 grand each. If they throw 5,000 of them in a week... Or two weeks, you're going to get completely bombed out of existence. Let's see if they can take it down. I didn't see this. Looks like it hit. Sounds like it hit. Blah. 
folks this is going to be the greatest it's human I suffering that, that has ever been done to a country absolutely since world war ii you might say vietnam i don't think vietnam this is going to be bigger than that. You are going to have death and sickness on a scale that is unimaginable. And it's up to you stupid idiots out there to now start asking for toot. Zapansky there, the leader of the uh, green screen leader, they better get him out of there and get somebody in there to talk to Putin. That's my advice because Putin simply is not going to deal with Toot. He's not going to go over to his $38 million mansion in Miami Beach uh, and he's not going to go to the Hamptons and he knows about the green screen. Do you understand that? He knows. Putin knows what Toot is doing. It's time, stupid idiots. Don't take any pleasure in the news uh, soothing your stupidity with these words like invaders, brave Ukrainians. What good are brave Ukrainians if they start dying from exposure to the cold? It's time for you to start saying, we're not interested in, uh, in uh, slanted words of journalism. We got to stop this one way or another. <clears throat> Take care, folks. Have a nice weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have a three-digit IQ and it doesn't rest at 100 or 101, come subscribe to this channel. Bye.